in this next part I want to explain the overall framework of the next five parts that we'll be covering for navigating in Microsoft Project 2013. The overview starts with a picture that really breaks down how Microsoft Project can be viewed by looking at either input or output using four fundamental views. Task usage, Gantt chart, resource usage, and resource sheet. Note that as we look at this chart here, it says task-based at the top on the left and resource-based at the top on the right. So whenever we want to put information into project or take information out of project, we're going to think about whether we want to do task-based or resource-based data manipulation. Note that when we look at task-based information, we have the op opportunity to determine whether we want to see tasks with assignment information or without assignment information. If we choose with assignment, we're going to see information spread over time or maybe not spread over time. So as we ask these questions and provide the answers, it will tell us which of these views we want to go look at. Now once we choose a view, there'll be notes to tell us how to use that view. So for example, if we wanted to see task-based information with assignments spread over time, we would take the task usage view. However, oftentimes when we go into that view, as it was last left, it will not really display the information that we're looking for. This is true of all the other views. So the notes we see here, notes 1, 2, and 3, will give us further information about how to use that view. For example, if I went to the task usage view and I wanted to know how to manipulate that view, I can go to this next slide that tells me what happens on the left side of the divider, what happens on the right side of the divider, and then when I go to the next screen, what about the data in the time scale, what about the information in the lower pane. Similarly, if I were to look at the Gantt chart uh, with resource assignments not spread over time, I would go to note number two. In this case, when I go to note number two, I'll be given information about what's in the upper pane and what's in the lower pane. Next, the same is true for the resource view. I have note 1, note 2 for the resource usage or the resource sheet with details. And then note also, just in the native views for Gantt chart and resource sheet, there's also something noted as note 3. In this case, we will be given information about what happens on the left side of the divider. So this chart on page 16, or on slide 16 that we're looking at, is really the, the most fundamental overview of how to navigate successfully through Microsoft Project. We will be referring to that slide as well as the supporting notes 1, 2, and 3 over the next five parts of navigating the Microsoft Project.